So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your layouts from your ship constructor production drawings to pure native AutoCAD files that are in model space. Uh, so this right here is a, a typical drawing uh, that ship constructor would generate. It's uh, in your layout space, and as you know, that the labels are actually uh, on on the layout or sorry on the layout space as well in the paper space and so is your bill of materials and a lot of the keywords however your model is actually in model space so if we actually click on the model tab here you'll see that uh, all you see here is the model not uh, the annotation uh, so what I'll be generating for you or show you how you can generate is uh, this view uh, which right here this is actually in model space so all these items here um, as well as the bill of materials and all the keywords is actually purely an AutoCAD native file. So there's no custom entities. You do not need a object enabler uh, or ship constructor installed to view this drawing. It's 100% uh, native. So it gives a really good mechanism if you need to transfer these files uh, to your subcontractors since uh, they do like handling or dealing with uh, model space a little bit more than paper space. But if you do go to uh, the layout, uh, you'll see that this drawing looks very similar to uh, the original drawing. Um, however, all these entities are actually in model space. So you can't really select any items here if you're in paper space. If you double click on it and become in model space, you can now select items. And you know, as you zoom, it kind of shows you how this is actually in model space and not in uh, paper space. So if we uh, close this, and uh, start our um, Publisher LT. So this is a Publisher LT. I already connected to the project. Uh, first thing to do is to make sure that the directory where you want the files to be generated is set. Uh, in this case, uh, I set it to the publish files within the project. It's currently empty, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, if it's not, you can always change it in uh, change output directory. The next thing to do is to load uh, the drawings that we want to convert. Uh, so we select drawings, we select specific, and then uh, I'm going to uh, filter by uh, drawing type and of the specific unit just uh, to make it a little bit easier. Uh, with the drawing selected, I can go to the operations, go select, and the operation that I want to select is convert layout to model space, and click OK. So it adds that operation to all those drawings, and at this time I can just click run. Uh, but in just for sake of time, I'm just going to uh, select one of them. So when I click run, uh, what's going to happen now is uh, it's going to load ship constructor. It's going to uh, convert that drawing to a pure native AutoCAD file because I don't want uh, my original ship constructor file to be modified. And then from that file, it's going to create a, a version by converting everything from the layout into um, model space. So my project is done, everything succeeded. If I go to my output, it tells me where my drawings were successfully done. So I can click close and go to my drawing. Uh, so here I, I did create a, a separate folder called uh, the Dewey for layout just to categorize my drawings and my operations. And here I was creating a folder for every single drawing. So it would automatically create it just to give me a little bit of organization. So if I click in here, it'll show me two drawings that it has. Uh, the first one is just a pure native AutoCAD or pure native uh, AutoCAD uh, file with no show constructor entities. And the second one is uh, of, the, of the particular layout. So it converted the layout into the model space. So if I actually open this with uh, AutoCAD, As you can see, it opened up in AutoCAD. This is uh, model space right now. Um, you can tell this by in model space here. A and all my entities that if I select one, 
we'll say that it's a uh, 3D solid, so there is no ship constructor entities here. This is pure AutoCAD, and again, it looks like a layout. So hopefully that was uh, useful for you.